Waldmar Hoven was born on February 10, 1903, in Freiburg, in the Grand Duchy of Baden, in the German Empire. Between 1919 and 1921, Hoven visited Denmark and Sweden to study agriculture. In the 1920s, he visited the United States, where he worked as a movie extra in Hollywood. In the 1930s, he went to Paris, where he had an affair with an American woman who gave him an extremely valuable gold cigarette case. He finally returned home to Freiburg in 1933, where he completed his high school studies. He then attended the universities of Freiburg and Munich. In 1934, he joined the SS. In 1939, he concluded his medical studies and became a physician for the SS. Hoven later rose to the rank of captain within the Waffen SS. After completing his basic training in the Waffen SS, he was appointed assistant medical officer in the Buchenwald concentration camp, and held this position until 1941. In January that year, he became the second camp doctor of Buchenwald, and chief camp physician in June 1942. Hoven was involved in the administration of medical experiments regarding typhus and the tolerance of serum containing phenol, and which led to the deaths of many inmates. He was also involved in the Action T4 programs, during which people with disabilities were killed, along with Jewish people who were considered unfit for work. According to other prisoners, Hoven was personally murdering 90 to 100 prisoners weekly, for 18 months using phenol injections. He was arrested by the Nazis on September 12, 1943, accused of giving a lethal injection of phenol to Chief Sergeant Rudolf Kohler, an SS officer who was a potential witness in an investigation against Eel Sarkok, a woman whom Hoven was rumored to be having an affair with. He was charged with murder, but the case was delayed. He was released on Thursday, March 15, 1945, due to a national shortage of doctors. He was then re-arrested at the end of World War II by the Western Allies, and put on trial, as a defendant at the doctor's trial, one of the many subsequent Nuremberg trials. He was found guilty of war crimes, crimes against humanity and membership in a criminal organization, namely the SS. He was sentenced to death, and hanged on Wednesday, June 2, 1948 at Landsberg Prison in Bavaria. He was 45 years old.